Hey, 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 what's going on, YouTube BDK721? It is Wednesday morning. Hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, I am sitting here thinking about how am I going to put together a video response for two great YouTubers that I've recently subscribed to. And I figured, just do it. Why wait? Uh, I thought there'd be a better way to do this, but I'm not that creative, so I figured I'd just show off the card one by one. I've got two cards to show. I'm doing a video response for Reindeer Studios and for Palm Beach Sports Cards. Uh, two YouTubers that have been on here quite a while that I have recently subscribed to and recently gotten to know a little bit more through their videos. Um, we all, I'm sure all of you know Reindeer Studios and have been a fan of his or and a subscriber of his, but in case you haven't, I put the link below. Go check him out. And he is wanting to know what is your best bargain card in your collection and um, that's a that's a really great question to ask although it's probably pretty difficult for a lot of us to answer mainly because unless you are an incredible note taker or keep a lot of data in your collection sometimes you don't remember what you might have paid for something or what how, or how you came across something so and that's my case is that I've got a lot of stuff that I just don't remember what I paid or, or how I came across it but there's one uh, card that I'm going to show here that's really, it really tells us a bigger story. And but the but the short story is that I bought a guy's collection about 10 years ago when I first got back into the hobby in about 2011 time frame. And he sold me literally five of these storage boxes that are about three or four thousand cards full uh, for a hundred bucks. And those storage boxes all included rookie cards, uh, veteran stars, even minor stars. Nobody huge, no huge rookie cards or anything like that, but just minor rookie cards, minor minor star rookie cards. Out of baseball, football, basketball, hockey, all the four major sports, it was crazy for $100. And I recently graded one of them that I got out of that collection, and I showed it off in a video. And that was this card here. I got eight, I think there were eight of these guys in those boxes. I picked one that I thought was the best, and lo and behold, it did get an SGC's 10. So when you're talking about a collection that you bought for $100, which meant that you probably paid less than a penny a card with the amount of cards that were in there, that's a pretty good bargain for me. Just cost the cost of grading was like what 30 bucks or whatever to get that graded, and now it's a 10. So pretty awesome card for me there. The second response is for Palm Beach Sports Cards. He He's doing a contest uh, as a thank you contest, I believe, and also a 300 subscriber giveaway. And he wants to see your coffin card. And if anybody doesn't know what a coffin card is, it's the card that you want to be dead, want to be buried and, you know, in your coffin with, right? And if there's a fire at your house, it's the one card that you want to, you want to answer. because uh, there's one card in my collection that I have shown before years, maybe years ago in a video, and I don't recall which video it was in, but it's a card that my father bought me at my first card show that I went to as a kid. I probably was somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 13 years old, I'm going to guess, probably right around the time I stopped playing Little League and was into baseball uh, and really started to get into just being a fan. Um, it was a card show. It was, you know, a little bit ways from our house. So my parents had to drive me to the show. My dad and I went into the card show for about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. And he was a big Red Sox fan growing up as a kid. Um, and he was not a card collector back then. He's more of a stamp collector, but he knows kind of the business and knows what it is to collect things. So he went into this card show with one thing in mind. He wanted to find a Red Sox card. Uh, of his favorite player as a kid, and his favorite player as a kid was Bobby Doerr. Um, he was a big Ted Williams fan. All the Red Sox of the of the 1940s and early 50s that that was his team. But he was a big Bobby Doerr fan, and and you know I could probably talk a whole another video about why he was a Bobby Doerr fan. But he went in there looking for a Bobby Doerr card, and he found one. And it to me, it's the neatest card I have in my collection. The most valuable to me, even though from 
a money perspective, it's not the most valuable card, but it is the most valuable card to me, and it is certainly my coffin card. And that's a 1949 Bowman Bobby Door. And if you can see, it was signed by Bobby Door. Now, again, you can tell how old this thing is by the case that it came in. It's one of these really funky, um, it's not even a screw down. These things are little plastic, uh, I don't even know what you call them, that you twist here on the back, you push it through, and you take them off like that, and they come out like this. That's how old this thing, That's that I guess was an old style of how you had these little uh, cases that cars were put in back then. And I've kept it in the same case ever since. It's been in uh, under lock and key for a very long time. Fireproof box, all that got all that good stuff. But I absolutely love this card. It, it reminds me of my father. It's in really great shape. Um, you can see the corners are, are, are really decent. The centering is maybe a little off left to right. But the coloring is fantastic. And um, one of these days, I have vowed that I would get this graded because I want to get this authenticated. I guess you can get it authenticated, not graded. I'm not really sure what to do with this card. Maybe you guys can give me um, a, a couple tips on what to do, whether or not I just get it authenticated with the autograph or I get it graded and authenticated. Like, I don't know what the best thing to do is. I'm, I'm guessing sending it to Beckett might be the best thing to do, get both things graded. Uh, but that is definitely my coffin card. It is a, it is a memory of my father and something that I'll always cherish and always remember that great day, um, which basically started me in the hobby. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And go check out these two guys. I put both their links below. And have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget, Topps Chrome is coming out this week, so keep your eyes out for stuff. And I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.